Hello and welcome to the Alaska College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Jenny and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. However, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash Alaska. That's strivescan.com slash Alaska. And again, you can use that Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. And I'd like to turn it over to our first school, Central Washington University. Hi everyone, I'm just gonna go ahead and share my screen. So hello and welcome. My name is Laura Miyatake. I am your CW admissions counselor here for Central Washington University. So we are home of the Wildcats. On this slide, you are gonna see my contact information as well as right behind me. So feel free to take a screenshot and reach out to me anytime. But a little bit about Central. So again, we are a public four-year institution located in Ellensburg, Washington. Um, Central's commitment to hands-on learning, discovery, and individual attention really will take you beyond the limits of the classroom and books. While you are on campus, of course, you're going to be living in Ellensburg, so that's about an hour and a half or so away from Seattle, and again, located right in the heart of Washington State. So that means you're in your areas for you to go hiking and climbing, skiing, snowboarding, and really just taking in the full beauty of Washington State and our state parks. Located right across the street from main campus is our downtown Ellensburg with over 150 different shops and boutiques and some absolutely delicious restaurants for you to enjoy throughout the year as well. So when you're on our campus, there's plenty of things for you to enjoy. They also experience about 300 days of sunshine as well as a solid four seasons. So be sure to bring your rain gear, your snow gear and your summer gear when you're in Ellensburg. So while students love our location, they stay with us because of who we are as an institution. So right now we're hovering right around 12,000 Wildcats located all across Washington State, including our university centers and our online campus. But when you're here at Central, you're gonna experience an average class size of about 20 students. And with that as well, 99% of your classes are gonna be taught by professors. This allows you to really get to know your classmates, of course, your professors during their office hours and be able to create those great friendships, those study groups, and really make the most out of each and every class that you take here with us. Central offers over 135 exciting degree programs for you to pursue anything from our nationally recognized business program to the number one paramedicine program in the nation, as well as, of course, more programs that you see listed here on the slide. What you're going to find is in all of our classes, we really want to emphasize real world experience and getting you outside the classroom as much as possible. We see this with our biology students who are tagging bull trout in Snoqualmie Pass or our music students who perform at the Monterey Jazz Festival or even our geology students that are placing earthquake detection systems all across the, ca the Cascades. So um, when you're here at Central, we are gonna try and get you out of the classroom and make sure you're prepared for those great careers after college. I do wanna talk briefly about our application process. So if you're a senior this year and looking to apply for fall 2022, our application is live and available on our website. Um, we're not a part of the Common App or the Coalition App, so simply type into Google CW Admissions or Apply, and you'll probably be the first link that pops up there. The application itself is only going to take you about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. You'll notice, of course, they'll be asking you for a copy of your official high school transcripts, along with a $60 application fee or fee waiver. If you think you may be eligible for a fee waiver, but you're not quite sure, please feel free to reach out to myself or your high school counselor, and we can give you some more information. You'll notice that we no longer ask you for your SAT or ACT test scores. So for all future applicants at Central, we are officially test optional, which is very exciting. For seniors in the crowd, if you have a cumulative GPA of a 3.0 or above and meet our CADA requirements that are listed on the bottom right-hand corner of the slide, you're gonna be guaranteed admission to CWU and guaranteed merit-based scholarships, which is great. If you're a senior this year and you're thinking to yourself, you know, I fall a little bit below that 3.0 threshold, no worries, we still want you to submit your application to us. We may just ask you for an additional document, which would be your personal statement. If at any point during the application process you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I am here to assist you in any way that I can. Here at Central, we have what's called rolling admissions, meaning that our application theoretically never closes, but we do have a priority deadline of March 1st that we'd love for you to adhere to. 
Again, if you have any questions about our application, definitely let me know in that Q&A feature. So at Central, we understand that finances have a large impact in a student's college decision. So we do our best to provide students with information regarding the FAFSA, and of course, scholarship opportunities, as well as an automatic WUI for students residing in the state of Alaska. So this renewable scholarship waives a portion of your out-of-state tuition. So essentially, you're going to be waiving about 150% of your in-state tuition. Um, because of that, there are no other merit-based scholarships that can be combined with the WUI, but there are plenty of other scholarship opportunities that are available for you. If you have questions about the WUI or any of our questions regarding tuition and fees or financial aid, please let me know in the chat feature, or again, visit us on our website. If you'd like to visit campus, we'd love to have you join us. We do offer campus tours Tuesday through Saturday, or if you're wanting to just visit us virtually, you can visit us on Mondays where we have our Instagram live tours or our events called Discover the Wildcat Way events, which is a 3D tour of campus led around by our current students, and they're there to answer any and all questions you may have. If you'd like to chat a little bit more one-on-one -on -one about CWU and what we have to offer, please feel free to schedule an appointment with me or even an application workshop and we can go through the application from start to finish together. I wanna thank you all for joining us tonight. On this slide, there are a couple of QR codes if you'd like to learn more about us. Um, of course, the QR code for our WUI information, our first year application, our digital brochure, and then last me, uh, lastly, of course, a QR code to schedule an appointment with me. So. Thanks so much for joining and feel free to enter any questions you have into the chat feature. Thank you so much. And thanks for that reminder that you can use that Q&A feature to ask questions of any of our schools here at any time during the presentation. Up next, we have Colorado Mesa University. Screen shared here and we'll be off and running. There we go. My name is Curtis Beetleman. I am the admissions counselor for Colorado Mesa University. If you are from Alaska, you will be contacted by me and helped out by me through your entire application process. Colorado Mesa University is in Western Colorado on the Western edge of Colorado, uh, about 240 miles west of Denver and about 200 miles south and east of Salt Lake City, Utah. So we sit halfway in between those two major metropolitan areas. And because of that regional aspect of our campus, there's a lot of things to take advantage of. What we try to do is get our students a good hands-on education and, and uh, uh, an ability to tailor their education for where they wanna go. So what we wanna know is what will your story be? You can see some of these students here uh, that have made uh, some great stories uh, off of our campus and uh, helping themselves obviously uh, after graduation into some very big roles in their particular industries. As I mentioned, we're in Western Colorado. You can see there on the map in the lower left-hand corner that Grand Junction is on the Western edge of the state. And uh, that means we're right in the heart of everything you can possibly think of when it comes to Colorado and the outdoor uh, activities and beauty and different uh, tourist destinations of Colorado. We're definitely a hub for those activities for our students. And that is something that our students love to take advantage of while on our campus. We uh, are represented by different countries in 49 different states. And uh, we also have 118 different majors to choose from. So uh, along with the activities, the academics uh, for us are a big deal. So we have a ton of students involved in many different areas of industry, one of the uh, things that we like to do for our students is make sure that they know that we have zero teaching assistance, always going to be you and the professors, class sizes average a little bit less than 20. And as you can see there, almost 90% of our classes have less than 40 students. So hands on applied learning across the board, no matter what the major is. And this is one of the unique portions of our campus. And that is the fact that we have both four-year degrees and two-year degree and technical certificate options. So you can see there at the lower right-hand corner, we are also uh, under the same umbrella with Western Colorado Community College. So we have a lot of students that are coupling uh, two-year associate's degrees along with four-year bachelor's degrees and getting any certifications uh, that are necessary as well. So a lot of students uh, kind of doubling up on their uh, areas of concentration and uh, getting a lot of resume material before they graduate uh, from our campus. Uh, we mentioned there's lots of opportunities for hands-on applied learning. Undergraduate research is a big deal on our campus and many different uh, aspects of our campus. So you can see some of our students that are in the nursing, 
uh, field, also uh, kinesiology in the lab. Uh, we also have an on-campus hotel that our business students and hospitality management and culinary arts students run as well. So getting you that hands-on time on our campus is a big deal uh, to our administration, and we want to make sure that you are ready to work with uh, uh, upon your graduation. Uh, I mentioned some of the activities and the destination of our campus. You can see 300 plus days of sunshine in western Colorado. Uh, we are just a few minutes from the nearest ski resort, thousands of miles of hiking trails, and uh, one of the largest outdoor programs, which is student run in the country, making trips uh, to all of those destinations to get a chance. Obviously, it comes with a community as well. Grand Junction itself is about 125,000 people in the uh, immediate area. Uh, along with our 11,000 students on our campus. So it ends up being a very nice medium-sized town and campus. And uh, we like to refer to it as a bit of a Goldilocks campus. It's just right when it comes to that size. You can see also lots of options on our campus. It's very much a residential campus with uh, 13 different residence halls, 2,600 students living on campus, and uh, a very large portion of the rest of our students living within a couple blocks of campus. So a traditional college feel uh, with athletics, activities, and all sorts of uh, residential campus uh, activities in that very typical uh, residential campus feel and typical college experience for our students. Try to get as much uh, uh, guidance as along the way for our students as well with early move-in programs, career services, first-generation support, and faculty and peer advising for our students to make sure that you're staying on track to where you want to go when it comes to graduation time. And we try to do it and make it as affordable as possible uh, as well. So 100% of our merit scholarships that we'll see here in a second are renewable for four years. Uh, we try to make sure that financial aid is available for as many of our students as possible as well. So over $76 million awarded lately. So what's it going to cost to come to CMU? Well, from Alaska, you would be fitting into that WUI and Mountains and Plains reduced tuition rate. That is the middle column on this slide. So 13,000 for undergraduate tuition, that would be in-state plus half. So a little over 13,000. And then the total cost of attendance right around that 26,000 mark for our incoming freshmen. How do you take that down? Well, the, the list of merit scholarships for us, as you can see, you can get up to a $6,000 out of state uh, scholarship for uh, students in that top uh, uh, category for the merit scholarships, plus as an Alaska student, you do have another $4,000 available to you based on your merit. So you can get up to $10,000 in scholarships uh, being where you're from. If you'd like to make an appointment, please don't hesitate. You can go online and uh, apply as well. You can check out our campus anytime you like, coloradomesa.edu. Thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Up next, we have Eastern Oregon University. Hi everyone. Thank you for joining us this evening. Um, my name is Trisha Stout. I'm an admissions counselor at Eastern Oregon University. Um, and um, this is actually my last college fair as an admissions counselor. I'm moving into an academic advising role at Eastern Oregon University uh, later this month, but I'm still happy to be your contact as you check out Eastern. We're located in La Grande, Oregon, which is about four hours east of um, Four hours east of Portland and I forgot to set my timer so let me get that going. Um, La Grande is about 13,000 people in our community so we are the largest town in the valley the Grand Ronde Valley and something that I absolutely love about living in La Grande is our true four seasons and I have a slide that I'll show you a little bit later. Um, but our on-campus student population this last academic year was uh, just right around 1,500 students. So that makes us one of the smallest public universities in the state of Oregon. And for your academics, um, that means your average class size is fewer than 25 students. And faculty teach all of the classes at Eastern as well. Um, there's four colleges at Eastern. The first of them is the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. Our theaters just went under a multi-million dollar renovation, and we actually have a rotating theater in our black box, or a rotating stage in our black box theater now. So that's really exciting for us. Um, we also have the College of Business, and um, we added we are adding an agriculture entrepreneurship degree this next academic year. So think of it as 
Um, anything involving the business side of the agriculture industry, this will be a great hands-on project-based um, program for you. Uh, we were founded as an educator's college back in 1929, so that's still a very popular program for us and very strong. A lot of our students who um, go through our Master's of Arts and Teaching program go on to um, get jobs right away. Um, but we added a special education and initial teacher licensure program this last or just this, last, this fall that we're currently in, um, and we're really excited about that addition. Um, the College of Science, Technology, Mathematics, and Health Science is our last college at Eastern, and uh, we added a Sustainable Rural Systems degree program last academic year that I want to highlight from this college, and um, you can think of it as environmental science at the community level or um, town level, so um, just being a great community member while infusing that environmental science. And we also have pre-professional health programs um, where 92% of our students go on to graduate school from Eastern. So all of our programs are very hands-on. We have lots of internship opportunities, um, project-based. So it's a fantastic uh, school to receive your education. We also partner with Oregon Health and Sciences University, OHSU, to offer a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. And we also partner with Oregon State University University, OSU, to offer agriculture science um, degree on our campus. The admissions requirements here at Eastern, we are looking for a 2.75 cumulative GPA from high school for freshman admission. If you're a transfer student, we're looking for a 2.25 cumulative GPA with 30 transferable quarter credits or 20 transferable semester credits. Um, with that freshman admission, we're looking to see that you've completed those 15 core subjects with the C minus or higher. And our application is pretty streamlined. Um, you can go to the eou.edu slash apply website, and we do not require SAT or ACT uh, for admission or for scholarships, and there is no essay involved either. You can upload unofficial transcripts right to your EOU application portal and pay the application fee or defer it, and then we can make an admissions decision. You will want to send us your official high school transcripts and official college transcripts if you're taking college credit in high school, um, but we don't need those initially to make an admissions decision. So um, for Alaska students, Western Undergraduate Exchange or WUI is automatic upon acceptance to Eastern. So um, the price that you see here, 13,611 is based on 45 credit hours, which is what it takes to maintain EOU scholarship and keep you on track to graduate in four years. Um, so everything partnered together, it's about $28,000 to attend Eastern on average. Um, EOU scholarships, at, um, opened October 1st, and they will close February 1st. Um, our merit-based scholarships don't have a, an application, but so the application, um, or the scholarships that have an application are our foundation, our diversity, math educators, um, ASTIA, which stands for Advancing Science and Technology in Eastern Oregon. Um, so you can stack um, your merit-based scholarship on top of the WUI scholarship or WUI um, tuition rate. Um, the foundation is one application for over 100 awards at Eastern and they awarded over $700,000 to our students this academic year. Oh, and this is the um, fall, winter, spring photos um, at Eastern. Those red trees are my favorite. Uh, there's over 50 active clubs and organizations at Eastern to get involved in, and um, the Outdoor Adventure Program is one of them, um, which is just um, really well utilized by our students um, to help them get outside or help them become um, more comfortable being outside. All levels of um, outdoor enthusiasts can participate in the Outdoor Adventure Program. We're NAIA Athletics at Eastern, and a lot of our teams compete at the college um, or at the national level, like our volleyball team. They're going to the first round of the national championships this next weekend, and we are open for in-person campus visits, preview days, or you can do a virtual visit with us, and I'll answer your questions in the Q&A. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, great reminder. If you have any questions, please put them in the Q&A function and our institutions here will answer them during the presentations. Up next, we have Idaho State University. 
Hello, everyone. My name is Allison Vernon. I was actually born and raised in Ketchikan, Alaska, and moved to Idaho State, um, well, Pocatello, Idaho, in 2013 to get my bachelor's degree. Um, if you guys would like throughout the presentation, please feel free to scan the QR code here so that way you guys can follow along with our digital brochure. Idaho State University, we were founded back in 1901, giving us over 100 years of history and traditions on our campus. So our students, when you come here as a new freshman, you're automatically going to be added into this rich culture and this um, history at Idaho State. We are a medium-sized institution with over 12,000 students enrolled at ISU each year, but we do maintain a 13 to one student to faculty ratio. Why that's important is because your class sizes are going to be small at Idaho State University. Being from a small town in Alaska myself, I knew I couldn't go to a university that had large lecture halls. I needed that connection with my professors and my classmates, and I had that at Idaho State. We do have a diverse, a diverse campus with 59 different countries represented and 48 different states. Idaho State, our main campus is in Pocatello, like I said earlier, but we are on three separate campuses as well. We have satellite campuses in Idaho Falls, Twin Falls, and then Meridian, so a little bit closer to the state capital, Boise. Um, for those of you that are in the Anchorage area, Idaho State is also located in Anchorage. We have the pharmacy program up on the University of Alaska Anchorage campus. We are a research institution, so for students who are interested in getting into their major and really Getting into the research aspect, that's definitely something you can do at Idaho State. We have paid internships, um, regardless of your major. We do have over 250 different academic programs that range from nine month technical certificates to your associate's degrees, bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and even doctorate degrees at Idaho State. Because I can't talk about all 250 today, I'm just gonna highlight our different colleges and some of the programs that are within them. So our College of Arts and Letters is gonna host academics such as our School of Performing Arts, so theater, music, um, dance, if you're interested in psychology, history, English. Our College of Business, we are doubly accredited through the AACSB board, which stands for the Association for the Advancement of Collegiate Schools of Business. Um, out of over 15,000 business schools worldwide, Idaho State is one of less than 200 that hold that double accreditation throughout our entire College of Business, as well as our accounting program. In College of Education, students have the ability to go into primary, secondary education, but we also have outdoor education. For those of you that love fishing, hiking, camping, skiing, snowboarding, you wanna work for the Forest Service or something outdoors, outdoor education might be the major for you. We have our College of Science and Engineering, which has for engineering, civil, mechanical, electrical, and nuclear engineering. And our nuclear engineering program, we do have a low power nuclear reactor in our engineering building. So students have the ability to become certified on a nuclear reactor while they're in school. We also have things like geology, biology, chemistry. Our College of Technology, like I mentioned, students can get nine months technical certificates or two-year technical certificates and things like cosmetology, welding, automotive mechanics, air maintenance mechanics, while still being on a college campus. So they get the best of both worlds. They get that hands-on education that they've always wanted, but they still get to be on a college campus. Then we have our Kasiska Division of Health Sciences. Idaho State is the health science institution for the state of Idaho. If students are thinking that they want to go into dental hygiene, we have a four-year bachelor's program for that. Nursing, um, like I mentioned, pharmacy, we have the only PharmD program in the state of Idaho. Outside of the classroom, there's a ton of things that students can get involved in. We have over 150 different clubs and organizations on campus, such as Greek life. Um, we have cultural organizations. We have student government, as well as just random interest clubs. I personally love snowboarding, so I joined the snow club when I was a student at Idaho State. We went on four big trips every year, and it was amazing. We are division one for athletics. Our football stadium is a covered dome, which is really nice in November when it's a little bit chilly outside. It's 75 degrees in Holt Arena. We are in a perfect outdoor area. If you love fishing, hiking, skiing, camping, we have a ski hill 15 minutes away from our campus. We do have on-campus housing, but our students are not required to live on campus. We also have the only honors degree in the state of Idaho. So if a student wants to enhance their education, dive a little bit deeper, they can apply to our university honors program. We also have Bengal Bridge, which is the opportunity for students to do summer classes before their freshman year at a discounted rate. 
this is the cost breakdown for students coming to Idaho State University. Um, for non-residents, we also offer WUI. So at Idaho State University, you'd be paying about 11,808 for your tuition if you're at full time. We also have something called a non-resident tuition waiver. It's important that students from Alaska apply early before February 15th. So that way they can be considered for both WUI or a non-resident tuition waiver, depending on your GPA and the program you're going into you could qualify to receive in-state tuition. For Idaho State, if you receive WUI, you will save over $50,000 over the course of your four years. If you have a non-resident tuition waiver, you'll save over $66,000 over the course of your four years. Outside of those two scholarships, Idaho State has additional scholarships for students to apply for. We award over $15 million in student scholarships every year. We also have over $2 million in career path internship funding for those students that are interested in getting internships in their field or getting involved in research. Our application process is pretty straightforward. You can log on to our website, isu.edu forward slash apply. The application should take you no more than 10 to 15 minutes. We are test optional for um, students applying for the fall of 2022, but if you send those into us, we can use them for um, getting you into specific classes. Send us your official high school tra transcripts so that way we can get you admitted. We do want you to come and visit campus, but I know being from Alaska, it's a little bit challenging. So we do have virtual campus visit options as well. This is a list of all of our admissions advisors. So please feel free to reach out to us at any point in time. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Up next, we have Western Washington University. Hey, what's up everyone? Thank you all for coming through. So my name is Freddie. So I'm the Senior Admissions Counselor for Western. Definitely excited to link up with y'all today and give you some information about our school. I'll try to be mindful of time. Um, so I'm not gonna share my screen because I'll take too long <laughs> doing that, but I'm definitely gonna link everything in the chat here in just a bit. Um, but first of all, for Bellingham, um, we're located in Bellingham. So we are about 90,000 people in the town. It's really nice. Um, we're about an hour above Seattle, depending on traffic. We're about 45 minutes away from Vancouver, BC. And we're actually the northwesternmost university in the nation, which is kind of a cool stat. Um, I personally grew up in Bellingham. I was born in Atlanta, but I grew up in Bellingham. So I definitely loved it. I definitely had plenty of chances to leave, but I went to Western for college and now I'm working here. It's definitely, um, a town where people are just super nice. They're super friendly. I always felt really comfortable. So when I started my college search process and was looking around and the different schools <laughs> that I was thinking about, it made me love my home even more. Um, we're also right on the water, which is really nice. So it's about a 15 minute walk and you'll be in Bellingham Bay, which is awesome. Um, and then for all our outdoor lovers, we are one of the best schools for that as well. So we're about 60 minutes away from Mount Baker ski area. So definitely a cool town, um, but most importantly, let's talk a bit about the academic side of things. Um, so we're about 16,000 students and we're pretty much capped at that purposely um, just because we don't wanna get too big. Um, our popularity is going up, but we do wanna kind of keep it a small kind of family size vibe, you know what I'm saying? Um, so definitely a lot of, benefits to kind of being a medium-sized school. I think someone else mentioned this as well, but when I was searching for different colleges, I didn't want to be stuck in a classroom that had like 500 people in it. It was just too much for me. Um, but at the same time, I definitely wanted to have like the college feel where there's like D2 sports and there's 175 majors and a lot of opportunities for research and all those different things. So kind of being in that medium size is a good balance, kind of best of both worlds. Um, as far as academics, I didn't mention we have over 175 different majors. So we have a College of Humanities and Social Sciences. We have a College of Science and Engineering. We have our College of Business and Economics. Um, we also have Woodring College of Education, um, Huxley College of the Environment. We have a College of Fine and Performing Arts. And then finally, we have a college called Fairhaven, which is for interdisciplinary studies. So if you can't find what you're looking for on our list, you can design your own major, um, which is really cool. I ended up doing a double major at Western. So I did the engineering program through the College of Science and Engineering, of course. Um, but then I also did the create your own major um, route as well. And I designed a degree 
that was focused upon diversity in higher education. So you can get really specific if you would like to. Um, some of our most popular majors are gonna be English, education, business, psychology, but realistically, the most popular major is undecided. Um, so if you come in undecided, it's totally chill. We're considered a liberal arts school, so you'll still have some time to figure it out. Or if you know you wanna just go straight for computer science or environmental science or whatever, you're still gonna take a little bit of everything, which is really nice. Um, we definitely have a lot of stuff to do outside the classroom, which was a big one for me. I didn't want to be stuck in my dorm or just in the library all the time. I want to have some fun as well. So we have over 250 clubs and it's kind of cool because they're all over the place. So I definitely joined the Ethnic Student Center as soon as I came to campus. Black Student Union first day pulled up. I was like, happy to see some people in there and kind of link in with them. Um, but at the same time, we have different majors for different uh, academic departments. So like pre-med club or psychology club. You now we just have fun random clubs as well. So I think finding Bigfoot's a really big one. We have an Appreciate Beyonce club as well. Um, we have just a ton of different things. We have a Quidditch club as well. I didn't know too much about Harry Potter, but I saw him outside with the broom. So I think they were playing Quidditch. Um, so quite a lot of different ways to get involved. That way there's a lot of campus resources as well. So we're going to have things like the Counseling Center, the tutoring center, career services. Um, we have a pretty big study abroad office as well. So a lot of ways to get busy inside the classroom, but then also get busy outside the classroom, which is nice. Um, as far as the application process, it's pretty straightforward, which is nice. Um, first of all, you need to <laughs> fill out the application itself. Um, like a lot of the other schools mentioned, it's not gonna take you too, too long, which is nice, probably about 20 minutes to fill out the application. We do have a required essay though. And so as one of the people who reviews applications, I would definitely say that's my favorite part of reviewing an application. We definitely wanna to get to know y'all more, um, kind of learn about the things that you have been involved with in the past, things that you're passionate about, things that you're excited about doing in the future. And then most importantly, why you think Western might be a good fit. So the essay is a huge part of the application for sure. So the application, the essay, you can submit your transcripts. Unofficial is totally fine for the application process. We're gonna ask you for an official copy eventually, but you can just take a pic with your phone and send it to my email and that's gonna work for now. Um, and SAT and ACT scores are now optional. Um, one thing I do wanna highlight on the application as well though, is that we have a tell us more section. And so you can kind of clarify any grades or maybe if you had switch schools or anything extra <laughs> that you want us to know about before we go ahead and make a decision on your file, please let us know. Um, as far as tuition and whatnot, we are a part of the WUI program as well. So again, applying early definitely will be to your advantage. Our application deadline is January 31st, and you'll hear back probably about four to six weeks after that application deadline at the very latest, but most likely we'll give you a, an admission letter sooner rather than later. And that's about my time, so I'll peace out. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. If you have questions for any of our institutions here, please use that Q&A function during the presentations. Up next is Lewis Clark State College. All right, and I've got my timer started, so I'm gonna share my screen. And okay. All right, so my name is Ellie Oba. I'm an enrollment specialist from Lewis Clark State College. And a little fun fact about me, I was actually born and raised in Fairbanks, Alaska. So I remember coming down to Anchorage for tons of sporting events. Um, so it kind of feels like my old stomping grounds. But today I'm here to you as a recruiter from Lewis Clark State College. We're a four year public college located in Lewiston, Idaho. Oops. There we go. So just a couple of bragging points about Lewis Clark State College. We are one of the most affordable four year public colleges in Idaho. Um, we have a pretty small student body so our student population is about 3,700, but that also includes our virtual students. So the actual population of our students on our campus is actually closer to about 3,300. So what that means for you is our class sizes are pretty small. We have a 12 to one student to faculty ratio. Um, our classes are anywhere from 15, 20 to 25 students per class, which is really awesome. Over 82% of our warriors, that's our mascot, receive some sort of financial aid. So what that translates for you is when you graduate from Lewis Clark State College, it means you have very little to no debt. And we're really proud about that. So we have a lot of scholarship options, which I will touch upon in a couple of slides. 
So this is just some points about the area our school's located in. We're in a town called Lewiston, Idaho. Lewiston is about two hours south of Spokane, Washington. If you've ever been in that area, we're right on the border between Washington and Idaho. The sister town is called Clarkston. Um, our town itself, we have four full seasons. We only get about one inch of snow a year, which is really awesome, especially if you're like me and you love summer and spring. But if you do like snow sports, you like the snow machine, ski, snowboard, we're within driving distance of several different ski hills, which is awesome. Our town itself is about on the medium size. We have about 55,000 people in the entire valley. And then we're close driving distance within 34 national, state, and federal parks. So we have over 130 different degrees and certificates for students to choose from. Of course, we have the traditional four-year academic degrees. We're best known for nursing, business, um, are probably our most popular degrees. We have one of the only four-year bachelor's in science and nursing degrees you can get in Idaho. But we're also known for our two-year career and technical degrees. So these are more degrees if you want to work with your hands. And we actually have some pictures of them here. So for example, our welding program is very popular. We also have auto mechanic and diesel mechanic if you want to work on the big rigs as well. And then if you notice this little stat in the upper right corner of the presentation, 97% of our recent graduates are settled in a job, graduate school, or other area within one year after graduation. This number goes up even higher for the CTE program. So almost all of our career and technical education students are within are in a job of their choice within one year of graduation. So to apply to LC State, we've made it very easy this year. You just have to apply through our website. It's written kind of tiny there, but you just want to go to beawarrior.lcsc.edu. It's free to apply. It takes about 15 minutes. You can do it on a phone, honestly, which is great. Uh, no essays or anything like that needed. Once you apply, you'll send in your transcripts um, or your official GED scores. And if you've taken any college level classes, send those over. And then new this year, we're going to ask for your test scores, but we're not going to require them. What I mean by that is we just need to see your ACT or SAT scores so we know what math class to put you in, but we're not going to look at it for admission requirements, which is awesome. And then we do have our March 1st priority deadline. So this is so you can be eligible for any scholarships. So this is going to be our tuition and fees. Now, if you're from Alaska, you are eligible for the WUI. I'll talk about that in one second, but I am going to show you um, before scholarships what your semester and yearly tuition is going to look like. So it's going to be about 20,000 for a non-resident student, but to mitigate that, we offer the WUI. So for the WUI scholarship, there's no extra application, but you do have to have the minimum GPA. So it's going to be a 3.0 or a 20 on your ACT or a 1020 on your SAT. So no extra application, like I said, you just have to apply to the school, send your transcripts over, and if you meet the requirements, we'll give you the scholarship. Uh, we also allow you to stack scholarships. So if you look down in the bottom, that achievement scholarship, if you have a slightly higher GPA, you'd be eligible for it. And it's $2,000 annually, and it is renewable, which is awesome. So we also, in addition to this, have the LC State Scholarship application. This is about a 20-minute application process. Um, there's some short essays you can answer. You'll just fill it out and it'll put you in the running for over 100 different scholarships. These scholarships range from $200 to $2,000. So our goal with all of these scholarships and allowing you to stack them is to get your tuition rate as close as possible to what an Idaho resident would pay. So we also have residence halls as well. Uh, you're not required to live on dorms as a freshman, but we really encourage it. Our students love living on campus, you know, walking distance to everything, easy to meet people, you know, free laundry, which is great. Uh, we have several on and off campus options for students, and these range from traditional dorm style to apartments as well. Uh, we also have study abroad programs. Now, a little bit of a caveat because of COVID, these aren't happening as much this year. We've kind of put them on the back burner, but in the next few years, we'll bring them back and we'll hopefully have students going out and traveling all over. We also have over 60 student clubs and organizations, kind of just something for everyone. The one I like to point out the most is the student run radio station. If you've ever wanted to be your own DJ and also we have the student rodeo club. You don't have to bring your own horse, which is awesome. Uh, really quick, uh, we do have athletics. We have 12 men's and women's sports and we are in the NAIA division. And then I'll end it at that, but we also have a lot of virtual opportunities if you wanna come visit us, because I know you guys are up in Alaska and if you want to take a quick picture, that is my contact information. So thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you to all of our institutions here today for letting us know more about your schools. Um, I've really appreciated all of the information. We have some time for some Q&A. 
So I'll go ahead and ask everyone to come back on the screen if you're able to, and um, I will put our first question up here. Our first question for the evening is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? You can share your nuggets of wisdom with everyone um, here tonight. We'll go in the same order um, and yeah, we'll go from there. Awesome. So, um, so advice that I would give to students is one, connecting with college admissions counselors. We are here to assist you in any way that we can. Um, but also if you're able to go and try and visit as many colleges as you can in person. Sometimes visiting a college in person can really make or break that decision of whether or not you'd like to attend. So if you're able to go and try and visit in person, if not, definitely attend a lot of their virtual events as well. Yeah, I would agree with that uh, as far as visiting campuses. I know it can be difficult uh, from Alaska, but we did have a couple students on our uh, campus this last weekend for a uh, preview day. So look for those big preview days. Uh, sometimes, depending on uh, the campus, there's uh, deals on flights and hotels and things like that for those big preview days. So that's something to look for. The other piece I would give along with that is ask lots of questions about uh, financial aid. Requirements are always listed, but there's appeal processes. There's lots of little ins and outs to financial aid and scholarships uh, you can take advantage of if you just ask a few questions. Um, and along the lines of financial aid, I advise that you apply for all scholarships at all institutions, as well as your FAFSA, so that when you um, get your award packages from all institutions that you're applying to, you can make a more informed decision financially about your future, so. I always tell students to really connect with as many people in your family, in your community, um, and anyone that you might know that have, has gone to the universities that you're considering attending. Just that way you can know exactly what that student experience is, because of course coming for a campus visit is the best way to know if a campus is right for you, but it's really easy to get caught up in the moment and in the day. And so, you know, really talking with students about what is the campus like what is the student experience like is that going to be a good fit for me you know apply for every scholarship like everyone has already said for each institution that you're considering that's in your top five in your top 10 you'd be amazed at the schools what they can award you i personally it was cheaper for me to go out of state than it was for me to stay in state at the university of alaska anchorage because of the scholarships that they awarded me at some different schools yeah, I would totally agree with everyone. Um, Y'all are dropping gems, so I definitely agree. Visiting campus, taking advantage of hitting up the admissions counselors. We're all really nice. We want to help you, so we got your back for sure. Scholarships, all that. Um, but the one thing I would add is just take a deep breath, y'all. Like You're going to do a great job. I know that I was super nervous during the whole process, um, but now that I'm a counselor and like reviewing applications, y'all have been putting in a lot of hard work on the front end of your high school career, so you're going to do a great job. So just try to chill out a bit. You're going to do awesome. Yeah, and then my little tidbit, everyone had great advice, is just if you're a student and you don't really know where you want to go, just think of it like this. Where do I want to live for the next four years and find a place that really just aligns with your values and really is a place that will make you happy. And then the second part of that, though, is then be realistic with your finances and don't break the bank. So if it's a place that's six figures, maybe go to your second on the list that costs you far less per year. It is all fantastic advice. Thank you so much um, for sharing that. And I'd add, um, you know, we talked a lot about scholarships and things like that. Um, try to stay organized as much as possible. So if you have uh, a spreadsheet, the notes app on your phone, the Google calendar, whatever works for you, uh, make sure to write down, um, you know, those deadlines, not only for application, um, but also for all these scholarships that are um, fantastic and will help school be more affordable for you. Um, and along those lines too, is to have a dedicated email address that you're using um, for schools and make it a professional email address is my, my caveat. So you don't want the, the Taylor Swift lover uh, 2021 email um, as fun as that is um, but try to make something professional and that way you stay organized because you're only using that emails for a college search but it also sounds professional as well when you're um, applying for both colleges and scholarships so that's my little uh, tidbit in there as well um, and that's our time for today so I really appreciate everyone um, joining today and for all of the time oops, sorry wrong screen um, thank you so much for joining us I really appreciate it um, when you close this window there will be a link to a very 
very quick five question survey. So we'd really appreciate any feedback that you can provide. And we encourage you to check back to the schedule and sign up for more sessions. Tomorrow we have panels. So feel free to sign up for those as well. You'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com slash Alaska. That's strivescan.com slash Alaska. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it.